Hello, hello everyone and welcome! Today we will be touring this beauty here. It is a base game modern three bedroom home. So let's take a look at what I built. So I have been going through my old work in progress files on my library that I've saved and I'm going through and I'm finishing some of them. So I thought I would do some cute little tours of what I've been working on and just updating some of my old builds uh, to make them, you know, look a little bit more fabulous. So I have done this base game only three bedroom modern home. My whole aim with doing a... Um, a base game build is to try and make it look not as base game as possible. So it's using things from debug, it's using the some of the locked items, you know how you can get some of those locked items from careers and stuff like that, so it's using some of those. It's using like some little clever tricks just to make things look a little different from how they normally look in the game when you just have the base game items. So you can sort of see in the backyard here I've done something a little different with the bar. So I've got the seats on the top of the raised platform so the the seats are, um, are, looking, are looking a little bit different from usual and I've done a little inset seat uh, on the back there in an orange just I've done like a half all around that just to make it look a little bit different as well and I did something fancy with the little garden plots there too and those are all fully functional um, not the little triangles in the garden plots those aren't functional those are just for for pretty you know for pretty prettiness sake so uh yeah you can sort of see i've got a few bits and pieces there in the back area i i really thought about the shape of the build and how that was sort of going to come together and just create you know like interesting asymmetrical shapes for a modern build which modern builds definitely you want to be looking at asymmetrical shapes and not having so much of the symmetrical kind of thing that you might have in a more traditional build and I was looking for things in the in base game that were more modern looking which is <laughs> is a little bit of a challenge let me tell you but I think I did okay in that regard I, I you know got creative with things like mirrors I used a bit of debug to create custom mirrors um, or I joined little bits and pieces together just to create like some custom furniture and things that looked a little bit different from what you're used to in base game and I think I did all right in that um, in that regard and we've got like a really nice open flow uh, living dining kitchen as you can see here so I've used the vault modular counters in the kitchen area which I think do lend themselves to sort of um, a modern look sort of leaning towards industrial but I think they're nice enough that you can get away with it in a non-industrial home as well and I've just used shelves and little pieces of clutter um, from around the place just to create like some different looks in the in the kitchen so they don't look so base game <laughs> if you know what I mean and but yeah so finding all these modern pieces in the game just to make the room look modern was a challenge in itself so moving into the bathroom I've used the corner bath and I just wanted to create you know like a real sort of cluttered lived in kind of vibe for the bathroom so you can sort of see clutter and little bits and pieces I've sort of created like a faux laundry area I mean there isn't a laundry obviously in base game so created that sort of faux laundry thing going on and it's a custom mirror there in the background of uh, the bathroom and in this bedroom as well so I've created like um, a custom a custom mirror with debug and one of the plain mirrors there so this is the first of three bedrooms so this is a three bedroom three bathroom home and I created like a little custom wardrobe there so it sort of looks like you know you've got some hanging stuff there so moving upstairs this is the upstairs living area so this is more of a family living area so you can sort of see a little bit of the kids clutter and that sort of thing there as well whereas the downstairs area was more of an entertainment kind of living area if that makes sense so this has like a little touches of the kids because this is a family home as well so as you can see here zoom we've got a kids bedroom here so we've got bunk beds and we've got a little cot they've got like a little study area dollhouse a uh, little bits and pieces here it's like a, a a small room but it's good for kids you know nice and cozy it's got everything they could possibly need like they can go out from onto the balcony and they could spend time out there as well so you know I feel like the upstairs area is definitely more for the kids and this is a kids bathroom so I um, used some of the little bits and pieces that we got 
I think before growing together uh, you know how we got like the little pieces of extra clutter and stuff for that so that was quite useful in that bathroom then going through to the master bathroom so this is the bathroom that is the ensuite of the master suite and I did a little corner couch because I thought that was cute sit down and you know put your socks and shoes on or whatever and then uh, going through into the counter area again I did a custom mirror with the vault modular uh, counters there with a bit of clutter and then going through to the master bedroom so again I did a, a custom mirror I was all about the custom mirrors in this build <laughs> and you might not recognize those paintings those paintings were uh, locked items in the game I believe either locked or debug so you know you don't see those uh, a lot in the game if you're just sort of playing uh, all regular like without any cheats <laughs> so I delved into the world of cheats with this build and then I did like a little custom wardrobe area that you, sort of, you can sort of see I did shelves and little pieces of clutter your shoes and um, toiletries and um Mm, shirts and stuff stacks of shirts and there's like a little study in the room a chess area so you know there's lots of really cool stuff in in this bedroom it's like a large bedroom so there's plenty of room for little pieces of life to come into the bedroom it's not all just just about going to sleep in this room you know it's also a multifunctional space and then I did this in a little bit of blue as well just to create um, a little bit more of a mature feel to this room and that my friends is the tour of my base game three bedroom modern home thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye